Welcome to day seven of 30 days of Lightroom. Today we're going to show you how to crop your image, how to make it perfectly straight, and even how to transform it, which is perfect for architecture. Hey there, and welcome back to our comprehensive series on Lightroom Classic, teaching you literally everything you need to know. And don't forget, you can download and follow along with all of the sample resources, including today's raw file. Let's go ahead and show you how to crop, straighten, and transform. So we've got our sample image here. It looks really good, but I want to make some adjustments before we get started. So let's go into our basic editor right over here. We're going to click on Auto. You're going to see it made our colors a little bit brighter. Our subjects look great. I want to make my sky a little bit more interesting as well. So let's go real quick into our masking tools. There we go. We're going to go to select sky. And then you know what? I'm going to go right down here to our color temperature. We're just going to make this a bit more blue. All right. That's looking really nice. We can even make it a little bit brighter. Why not? Fantastic. So there's our before and the after you can see nice and vibrant. Okay. Now jumping into our crop tools, the crop tools are located right over here. And if you hover over, you can see the crop overlay. You can hit R, that's the keyboard shortcut for cropping in Lightroom. Now, there are a few things that you can do within your crop tool. By default, your crop aspect ratio is going to be set to original and we have this set to lock. So if I decide to change my crop here in Lightroom, I'm just gonna click and drag on any of these corners. You can do from the top or bottom, and then you can click here and move your crop around at any time. Let's say we like this crop. I'm gonna hit enter, there we go, and it automatically crops our image. Now, the great thing here is this is totally non-destructive. So if I go back into my cropping tools, just click right here. All I have to do is click on reset and I'm back to my original crop. Now I can choose this predefined cropped ratios. So if I go right here where it says original, I can choose a one-to-one. -one. This is gonna be a square crop. There we go, hit enter and boom, we have a square crop, okay? Now you can also go ahead and just move your cursor to the right hand side or literally any side that you want and you can change the angle of your crop as well. You can also change the angle of the crop using this slider on the right hand side and we can see this is looking really good. Let's go ahead and crop in just like that and hit enter and you're good to go. And this is already looking really good. We're focused much more on our subjects. We don't have as much extra information. but of course, we can go back to our crop at any time. Now, if you're printing, we're going to hit reset here. If you are going to be printing your images out, this is a great place to change your crop or print. So we're going to go over here where it says original. And for instance, if you're going to do a five by seven print, simply click on five by seven. You can bring this down. Now you can pull over to the right hand side and you're going to be getting a horizontal crop instead. So with this, you can do a vertical or a horizontal crop but you're gonna see this is gonna be at a perfect five by seven aspect ratio, which is gonna be great for printing a five by seven photo. Now, of course, you can go to this little icon and unlock if you want, and then you can just literally create whatever crop size you want. So that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with doing that at all. We can bring this in and say, okay, that's the crop that I want. Perfect, no problem that you can do with it, whatever you want. So you don't have to go with a predefined crop size, but it's there if you need it. The next tool I want to show you is the straighten tool, which is going to work really well if you have a visible horizon in your photographs. For like a beach, you can see the ocean. You don't want it to be crooked. So we're going to go back into our crop tool right over here, and we're going to go to where it says angle. This tool here on the left is actually going to allow us to trace an angle. So let's just hit reset real quick. We're going to reset the crop, and we're going to go back to our angle tool. There we go. Now with this angle tool, it's going to allow me to make a straight line. So I'm going to say, you see this like blue tile here that's behind our subject we're going to say that that's the that's a straight line we want it to be perfectly horizontal so we're going to go ahead and click there there we go and you can see i have this little line i'm just going to bring up my zoom so i can see what i'm doing a little bit better and let go and now what it did is it made that line that i just traced perfectly horizontal i can bring this down to make sure my subject's shoes are included there we go and hit enter. So I'm able to perfectly straighten using the crop tool as well. So in most cases, cropping and straightening is exactly what you want to do. But sometimes, especially for architecture, you might want to actually transform your image. So we're going to show you how to do that also. So cropping literally is just going to change the aspect ratio, okay, and rotation. But transforming is actually right over here. So we're going to see under all of our editing tools, we're going to see where it says transform. 
Now with transform, we have a lot of different options. We can actually go and transform this vertically. So you can see what it's actually doing here. We can transform this horizontally. You can change your rotation. You can change your aspect. You can do quite a bit of stuff. Now we're, we're gonna hold Alt or Option and we're gonna click on Reset Transform, which is just gonna bring it back to normal. Now, when you wanna go ahead and transform, again, this is mostly gonna be for architecture. You can go ahead and click right here on Auto. Now, the thing that's nice about Auto is it's gonna make our lines nice and vertical. Okay, let's go ahead and back to our crop tool because it's cropped up by subject's feed out, which we don't want. But it's gonna go ahead and make this automatically vertical, which is nice. If I go back here where it says full, this is going to be really great for architecture. You can see it's made my horizontal lines horizontal and my vertical lines perfectly vertical. But we're going to see like the slight downside with this. I've got people in here and they're being stretched out with this. So you really don't want to use this too much when you have people in your photographs. But if this was simply an architecture photograph, you're going to see it's going to make all your lines perfectly vertical and horizontal. And the last little thing we want to talk about is actually expanding your crop. And to do this, we're actually going to do this is a little bit of a bonus. We're going to jump into Photoshop. So let's go ahead where it says transform. We're going to go to off real quick and we're going to go to our crop. Now, let's just go ahead and reset this crop and say, you know what? Maybe I do want a crop like this, but I want a little bit more room down here on the bottom. So how do we add room on the bottom? We can't do that here in Lightroom. So we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to go to edit in and I'm going to say edit in Photoshop 2025. This is going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. And then here in Photoshop with our crop tool selected, make sure fill is set to generative expand. If I want to add some information to the bottom of my photo, there we go. All I have to do is click and drag that down. It's going to use AI to actually add this information on the bottom of my image, giving me the exact crop that I want but not so close to my subject's feet, right? I want this image to be straight. And look at this, with my property window, I can choose a few different variations. That looks great. Let's hit Control or Command S to save. And then we're gonna go back into Lightroom. It's gonna automatically update. So here we are in Lightroom. You can see now we have all this additional information on the bottom of our photo. And I continue to go to my crop tool and work with this as well. So if you're happy with your crop, but you just need a little bit more space, just go ahead and jump into Photoshop added using AI and you're good to go. So there we go, cropping, straightening, fixing perspective and using AI to make your photos a little bit larger. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget you can download all of the sample images including today's raw file. We'll see you tomorrow where we're gonna be going over color grading in Lightroom Classic.